Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to the Two Acre Homestead. It is one of the busiest times of the year. We're in the harvest season, it's fall, the weather is crisp outside, warm in the afternoons. The harvest is coming in, and as you see today, I am roasting some chilies and doing everything that I can to preserve all of the harvest that is coming from our homestead. Our pepper harvest has been pretty good this year. Not our best year, but pretty good. I've been able to dehydrate so many bell peppers and spicy peppers. So once I take them out of the oven, I put them in here and I just simply let them steam. I just cover it up with a wet towel like this and then I put a lid on it into the canning jars they go like that snake eats Cheetos. and the gardens are still producing one of the things we're harvesting the most is what you see here Armenian cucumbers they are prolific. And of course, everything in the garden is prolific right now. <laughs> the weeds, the good, the bad, and the ugly. But that's okay. It happens every year. And if you're new to gardening, just know fall is a wonderful time of the year. But at the same time, just know your weeds are going to win the battle. And that's just because you're busy harvesting, which is what you should be doing. So it's all good. Because we've been getting so much rain, our butternut squash, this is just one plant, is producing so many butternut squashes. And of course, some of these are just little guys, just like this. But that's okay, we'll take it. And a week later, this is what it looks like. Since it's not going to grow any bigger, it's time to take him out. Back inside the house, this is just one week's harvest. You can see all of the Armenian cucumbers, the butternut squash, the tomatoes, random peppers. My husband's showing the, I think, one of the biggest Armenian cucumbers I've ever grown. So this is the largest, I believe, the largest um, Armenian cucumber I have ever grown. I'm super excited to weigh this guy. So I have my scale right here and I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the scale and see how heavy this particular one is. Once this guy is, that's huge. So we're gonna set this aside. I'm gonna save him for the last. I 
will chop up my Armenian cucumbers just like this. And what I like to do is I use this as chicken food um, throughout the year. Now I add these Armenian cucumbers to our chickens food as we're feeding them in the winter time. So what I like to do is I've got buckets. I guess I'm pretty loud chopping here, but I have, we use buckets and we ferment the seed that we buy. And to add some extra nutrition, I will add the excess of the Armenian cucumbers that we're not using. I will add them to the feed. There's something to be said about harvesting and preserving food for your animals. I absolutely love the fact that we are growing not just enough food to feed our family, to put on our plate, but also to feed the animals. When you grow food, for your animals, you're not only cutting down on the cost, but you're also sourcing good organic food for your animals that will eventually feed you. And as you can see here, I've got a freezer already full of food that has been preserved just for our chickens. Every gallon size bag is about four days worth of food in it. So there's a lot of food that's saved. <laughs> 